And to get us started here, I'm going to start out with a relatively simple topic, but one that I find is rather hotly contested or, or certainly debated among AutoCAD users, and that is what should we set our line type scale to? So over the years, I've heard several different variations of this. Some folks like to set the line type scale to the drawing scale, and others like to set line type scale to one and maybe PSLT scale to one, but that of course leaves some other things to broken. Now, a lesser known fact is that there are really three line type scales. There's technically four line type scale variables, but for the purpose of drawing sheet management, we really only need to worry about three of those. We have LT scale, which has been around pretty much since the dawn of AutoCAD time at least, and that sets the line type scale across the entire drawing. And we also have something known as PSLT scale. So in this drawing, if I go to PSLT scale, you'll see that my PSLT scale is set to one. And the benefit of this is if I do happen to have these two viewports are set to the same scale, but if I do have mixed scales on a plan sheet, the dashiness of all of my lines are going to match across all of those. So if you set LT scale to one and PSLT scale to one, it will make your viewports, how dashy the lines are, all match. Now, the problem is, if I switch now into model space, while the dashiness of my line types, you'll recall that these uh, logs in this cabin have a dotted line type pattern to them, they appear as a solid line here in model space. So with that, there is a third line type scale variable that is lesser known, and it is known as MSLT scale or model space line type scale. So if you'd like to put line type scale on autopilot inside of your drawing, my personal recommendation is to set LT scale to one, PSLT scale, that's gonna control your layout tabs, set that to one, and then, so everything looks proper in model space, set MSLT scale to one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here real quick. MS LT scale, we'll go ahead and pick that right here. You can see right now in this drawing, MS LT scale is set to zero. So we're gonna go ahead and change that to one. And again, I've talked this all up. If I hit region, nothing happens. So what's up with that? Well, the secret, if you do choose to set all of your LT scale variables to one, MS, PS, or MS LT scale, PS LT scale, and just regular LT scale to one, to make things work properly in model space, you do need to set your annotation scale. So you'll see right here in my status bar, my current annotation scale is set to one to one. So my line types still all appear completely continuous. What I want to do is go ahead and set this to whatever matches the majority of my sheets. Now, the good news is it doesn't matter what you set your model space scale to or your model space annotation scale to what AutoCAD is going to use is the scale variable as part of your viewport. So you can set this to an eighth, even though your sheets are set to a quarter, and it's not going to have any impact. Now, in my case, in this particular drawing, everything is set to a quarter. So let's go ahead and just match everything. So I set my annotation scale to a quarter. I'm going to go ahead and run a quick regen, and you'll see that all of my line types now update to match exactly the dashiness that they appear inside of my paper space or my layout tabs.